Well, it's Sunday, and for many, that's a day of relaxation, reflection, and also, yes, getting ready for the week ahead. Some of us may be feeling anxiety about different things. Maybe it's work, maybe it's something else. We often call it Sunday scaries, and summer break will come to an end very soon. Many children and parents may feel nervous about the new school year. You are not alone. A lot of us feel the same way. So joining us now to guide us through this is ABC News medical contributor and pediatrician at Stanford Children's Hospital, Dr. Alok Patel. Dr. Patel, thanks for joining us. Happy Sunday, Brandon. Glad to talk about this. And I think we can all relate to the end of summer blues and Sunday scaries. Absolutely. It's almost August. So that means school will start in just weeks, especially in some parts of the country. They've only got a couple of weeks of summer left. With that comes so much excitement. You remember the new clothes, the new school supplies, but also some anxiety as well for both kids and parents. So what are the major causes of this? Is it just sadness that summer vacation is over? You know, for a lot of people out there, there is a little bit of sadness, but I think it's important that we realize that anxiety comes in so many shapes and flavors, and it really depends on children. For young children, it could be separation anxiety, the unknown, a change in routine. As kids get older, there may be elements of social pressures, fears of bullying, interpersonal relationships, academic or performance anxiety, and granted for any children who have underlying mental health conditions, such as phobias, general anxiety disorder, or OCD, this can all be worsened by a return to school. So it's important that we're raising awareness and we remind people that, guess what? Parents can have anxiety as well. Absolutely, and I, I know it can be really hard to talk to your child about anxiety. I know some kids just completely shut down when you try to talk to them about difficult things like this. How can parents get them to open up more? One thing parents can do is ask broad, open-ended questions, such as, tell me about your classes, or are you, how are you feeling about going back to school? And try to validate exactly what your children are feeling and don't try to solve everything. You're trying to build a trust, open relationship for them to say whatever they want. And remember that sometimes, even if children don't verbally communicate how they feel, there are subtle symptoms of anxiety, such as trouble sleeping, difficulty concentrating, behavioral changes, or even physical symptoms like stomach aches, headaches, and nausea that parents should be on the lookout for. Okay, and are there any practical tips we can do now to kind of ease that transition? Two big buckets here, routine and familiarity. Routine, set normal bedtimes, wake up on time, have breakfast together, drive to school. Familiarity, try meeting teachers who have playdates ahead of time. Guess what? My daughter likes to pick out two dolls, Emma and Ellie, to drive with her to school. It's all about easing into that transition. And parents, remember, you're not alone. Reach out for help if you need it. Absolutely. Dr. Patel, thank you so much for those tips.